Hello. This video covers the unboxing and installation overview for the Tygo 200 amp automatic transfer switch with the generator option. Open the box and ensure all materials are present. On the top of the packaging material, you'll find the mounting bracket, the quick start guide, and the accessories bag. Remove the packaging material and carefully lift the ATS from the shipping box. Let's take a look at the inside. Loosen the self-retaining screws on the front of the unit. To access the wiring area, remove the lower cover by unscrewing the two cover holders and gently pulling outward on the plastic grips on the top of the cover. The communication terminals are on the left side of the wiring area. These terminals connect to the Tygo inverter and control system behavior during grid outages. The male connectors accept the communication wiring and easily plug into their respective terminals. These connectors are found in the accessory bag. This communication terminal connects to the inverter ATS terminal. This terminal is for the bypass switch jumper. Connect the inverter A terminal on this connector to pin 3 on the ATS communication terminal. Then connect the inverter B terminal to pin 4 in the ATS. Previous versions of the Tygo inverter have a two pin terminal on the left side of this board. If your inverter has this terminal, you must connect pins 1 and 2 to pins 5 and 6 in the lower communication terminal block of the ATS. The two-pin connector is in the accessories bag. Disregard this step if your inverter is missing this two-pin connector. Do not connect pins 5 and 6 in the ATS to anything. Doing so will cause abnormal behavior. The two-wire start generator request terminal is here. The other end of these wires will terminate in the generator start terminals. This breaker is for the Tygo inverter. The other end of these wires will terminate in the inverter grid L1 and L2 AC terminals. The single pole breaker to the right can connect to a generator battery charger terminal to ensure it has a fully charged battery. The Tygo energy meter is factory installed and measures the consumption of the home. It then sends this data to the EI portal and app. On the AC terminal side of the ATS, the generator power output wires will land in these outer terminals. Please check the video description for a handy help center article on generator compatibility. The load center, typically the main service entrance for a whole home backup application, will connect to the inner terminals. The grid terminals are the furthest right and will connect directly to the grid input that comes into the home. Grounding and neutral connections are here. There are also smaller terminals on the lower left side of the ATS. Above the AC terminals is the 200 amp service rated breaker. The manual bypass switch is located up and to the left. The bypass switch diverts grid power directly to the home load center without passing through the automatic transfer switch. This is helpful if the installation will take some time to complete and you want to minimize electrical interruption to the home. It would also be helpful if it took some time for the local inspector to approve permission to operate or PTO. The bypass jumper must be used when operating this switch. For instructions, consult the ATS Quick Start Guide that ships with the unit. The Quick Start Guide is also found online in the Tygo download section. Tygo's Help Center also contains an informative knowledge article on the bypass switch operation. Check the video description for the link. Here is a simple diagram of a whole home backup application using the Tygo Energy Intelligence Residential Solution. If you have any questions about the Tygo automatic transfer switch, please contact our customer success team. Thank you for watching.